When I first started doing this work, we were doing community engagement, and we did that in a lot of different ways. I talked to people in the community, and um, what I heard a lot of was there's not enough for youth to do, and there's not enough places to be physically active. So we formed a resident council, and out of that resident council came the idea that we really needed a recreation center in Walsenburg. We've been to so many schools where the kitchen staff is kind of an afterthought, and the school meal program is just, it's an afterthought. And when you have that type of environment, it's very hard to create a sustainable change. Our food desert here surrounding the hospital is a food desert because it's literally so many miles to a grocery store and there's no public transit. And so we're also a food swamp because we have three convenience stores in the zip code and we have an entire population of elderly and disabled and unhealthy people eating completely out of three corner stores. When we look also at the residents living in these neighborhoods over decades, you know, they have the higher statistics of poor health. They have no resources that they can access close, so travel is an issue. If people do not have their own transportation and you're not near a bus line or, you know, public transportation, then that creates another barrier. We got to protect our land and our, and our water, first and foremost, because if we don't have land and water, we cannot produce the vegetables for our, our future generations. I have three kids and you know if they want the opportunity I want them to be able to return home to the farm. This used to be a place that was not alive, it was not colorful, people chose not to come here and then on this one beautiful September day around four years ago 300 people showed up in this park and what happened we built a new park but we started building a new community People started meeting their neighbors. They started knowing each other in ways that they had never known each other before. And they realized something, that they all share a lot of the hopes, same hopes and desires for their community. And they also realized that when we come together, we can do some pretty amazing things. Fortunately, I was invited to a couple of Live Well Colorado activities. And when they found out I was applying for SNAP, they explained to me what Double Up Bucks was all about and the benefits of it. So I was very excited to have two ways that, that people could come to the farm stand and use their SNAP cards and then double uh, their vegetable purchase. Currently I'm working a pilot to bring produce like you see here in corner stores that have not had items like that for decades. When these stores existed at their origins, there were the outlet in the neighborhood that people could walk to. So for Idalia a School District, they are a rural school district. They're rather small. We have about 220 kids total in this school, but a lot that they do can be applied even to larger school districts. And it really comes down to the support and the investment that the community and the school has in their students and understanding and recognizing the importance that healthy food really plays when it comes to how these students are able to learn and participate in school as a whole. Vivo aquí en el área de Francia y yo uso el programa de Double Up Food Box. Es muy importante porque si apoyamos a los granjeros que tengan más trabajo y para nosotros consumir frutas y verduras locales porque son más orgánicas, no, es, no tienen tantos químicos. Any, anybody who does mission projects very rarely does it in a vacuum. Nobody does this alone. We collectively can have more impact than we individually. So Catholic entities are not strangers to reaching out to partners to help them get all of the pieces put together so that we can maximize the impact and effectiveness for the people we serve. And so it's been great, obviously, to have SNAP aboard and live well aboard. Y ya teniéndola aquí en el en el barrio está ayudando a que ellos aprovechen y usen más sus estampillas. Y Lidwell Colorado nos está dando a nosotros la oportunidad de poder darles esto a nuestra comunidad, que es la que más lo necesita. I, we're not in it for the almighty dollar. We're in it because it's the satisfaction of providing for our our family, our friends, and our community. Eh, para nosotros Westwood trabajó 
muy diferente, muy de la mano con los directores y todo el personal apoyándonos en las decisiones de la comunidad. More than anything, we are talking about people and we are talking about hope. And when you talk about people and when you talk about hope, amazing things start happening and a movement, which is exactly what's happening right here in Lamar, Colorado, because Livewell, Colorado chose to invest in our community. We have a movement of change. We have a movement of change that is all about people.